Hello again. Um, so I've just seen this article saying Liverpool and Everton are set for a £5 million transfer battle over Charlton youngster Ezri Konsa. Never heard of him. Uh, the 20-year-old is rated as the best young defender in the country by Addicts boss Carl Robinson. Uh, League One Charlton have agreed to sell their England Under-20 World Cup winner Ezri Konsa for £5 million. The 20-year-old is rated as the best young defender, blah, blah, blah. He's at the centre of a tussle between Merseyside duo Everton and Liverpool. Tussle, battle, tussle. At the centre of a tussle. Give him here. We're having him. No, you're not. Here we are. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Battle sounds better. Tussle sounds a bit, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, Liverpool want to team the centre-back up with fellow Charlton product Joe Gomez. 20. But Everton are in pole position... After signing Adamola Luckman a year ago from Charlton and sending Chief Scout Martin Glover to watch Consa last month against Blackburn. Mm. Last year, Robinson admitted he had a gut feeling that Consa would leave the club. <laughs> and then his opening sentence is, My gut feeling is that he will go in January, said Robinson. If I was him, I'd be looking to go in January, but we should look for £5 million minimum. Maybe we could try for a loan back, but the player has to want that. I've never heard of him. Never heard of him. Um, have you guys? Do you know much about him? Let's have a look. Is that, has he got a Wikipedia page that will give us anything of interest? What do you reckon, guys? Let's have, let's have a look. Uh, 20 years old, born in Newham, England. Defender, Charlton, number 15. Four caps uh, for the England under-20 side. 57 appearances for Charlton. <laughs> My mate supports Charlton, actually. I'm not a word of him. Blah, blah, blah. He called up to the England 20 squad in March last year for the first time. Did not play due to injury. Uh, no. Not ready to tell you guys. Don't know. Do you know about him? Just thought I'd mention it, you know, as soon as I'm sat here chilling. Uh, I keep watching. If you keep seeing me look down there, I've got um, my iPad has my CCTV on the front of my property. Um, I'm waiting for uh, an engineer to call, so uh, I keep waiting to see if he pulls up outside. There's no sign of him. Uh, so do you know anything about this chap? Do you know anything about him? I don't know. Fuck all. Nothing. Never heard of him. I never get excited when we start talking about signing these youngsters and stuff like that. I mean, I know it's all very good. I mean, there was one today, wasn't there, guys? You must have seen it. Was it yesterday or today? I know I wrote about it today. But it's probably, I think it, and I think it did come out a bit more recent. Uh, I think it came out recently, but I only touched on it today. This Colombian defender, Anderson Arroyo, 18. Um, he had a trial with us in 2016, then uh, a trial with Mallorca in 2017. Uh, and the suggestion is that he'll be loaned to them in Spain to help improve his work permit chances in the future. Uh, he plays at under 20 level for Colombia. He's known for his blistering pace, which also makes him comfortable going forward and playing on either wing. Now, then, this, this, that lad is represented by Lucas Jaramillo of Alenia Sports Managers. And this Lucas Jaramillo has got um, a Twitter account. And because this news hasn't been confirmed officially by anyone, I don't think. Uh, but this agent has got a Twitter account. And there was the original report uh, a few days back saying that he looked like he was Anfield bound or whatever, you know, or Liverpool had done a deal with him, you know, for the fu for the future and all that. Uh, he retweeted it to the agent. So I don't think the agent has actually put a tweet out or anything confirming it, but he retweeted the suggest, you know, the, the report claiming that Liverpool had uh, reached an agreement to to make that happen. So I don't know either of them, but um, you know, we see we know we often hear of uh, you know, youngsters being signed by the by the club, by the club. Yeah, for sure. Um and then we never see them, do we? So, I mean, that's just part of the process, I guess. You know, if you're good enough, you, you, you play, don't you? Um, I, I would love to know how much we invest, how much we actually spend on um, on bringing these kids in and how many of them... You, do you know what I mean? I, I'd be interested to see the figures financially for the amount of money that is invested in these youngsters and how many actually fail to make it into the first team or even, you know, get close to it. I think you know what I mean. Mm. All right, so just thought I'd uh, check that out there. Speak to you in a bit.